Welcome back, you're listening to Tunis International Radio and here in the studio we have Mr. Ahmed Abdelnouz, an Algerian politician who will give us an idea about what's going on in Algeria. He's the candidate of the Equity and Development Front in Tunis. It's a little bit complicated. You're Algerian and you're running for, well, not for presidency, but for the MP. Yeah, okay. For the parliament. Uh, right. So, what's going on? Go ahead. Take okay. your time. All my condolences for uh, the family and all Algerians. Uh, for the loss of uh, our great Ahmed Ben Bella. Yeah, great man. Uh, yes, uh, for the person who didn't know him, he was one of the main pillar of the Algerian Revolution. Yes. Sure. So, okay, Ahmed Abdel he's okay. uh, he's an uh, Tunisian Algerian. Mm -hmm. I got my degree. Uh, let's uh, let's talk professional. I yes, got my go degree. Ahead. My degree in uh, in Algeria, uh, exactly in uh, Ghana mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. Called uh, uh, 8 May uh, 1945. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I moved over. Tell us about the experience uh, in the UK. The UK was uh, very tough at the start. Mm -hmm. I had to work. Yeah. Okay, to legalize my situation there, <laughs> mm -hmm. which is the main thing, in order to study. So I started to know the country, let's say in two years, how things work. After that, I, uh, I moved straight away to the university. I was lucky. It was a dream. It was a dream at the beginning. Yeah, sure. But Anyway, I, 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 uh, with the will of God, I did exceed and I did uh, succeed also at the same time. <laughs> to get succeed. Yeah, exceed. <laughs> to get the degree and certificate. Yeah, the wish first was to exceed because it was really hard. You know, the fees were too okay. high uh, you know, to gather the money and all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Later on, uh, to succeed, which uh, with the thank you, know, with the help of God. You're Algerian, but also half Tunisian. Did half this yeah. mixed identity have an impact on your life? Yes, obviously. So my mother is Tunisian, my father is Algeria, he's Algerian and uh, you know I'm, uh, I can consider myself as uh, the link between uh, those two countries because mm -hmm. I know very well uh, young people in Algeria which was uh, a student and mate in universities mm -hmm. and friends also. Same thing in uh, my in, uh, area. Mm -hmm. uh, Same thing in the UK? In the, well. Yeah, in the UK also, but in Tunisia mm -hmm. as an identity. Oh, okay, do you have Algerian friends here? Algerian friends and Tunisian, and Tunisian which are sure. yeah, neighbors and you know. Uh, mm -hmm. All the I live also in Tunisian, uh, let's say in a popular, mm -hmm. popular area, which is Hammam. Do, do, do you think this experience um, was knowledgeable in maturing for the young Ahmed Abdel Nuz? It was basic, yeah. It was basic. It was uh, an important experience. What have you learned from this mixed identity? Mixed identity. I learned that uh, both system. Mm -hmm. I got an idea about both political system in both country, and I lived in. Uh, in Tunisia before the 14th mm -hmm. of January and after so, so before free Tunisia so I know the system I know uh, how really you know an Algerian here with uh, this identity face uh, in the administration mm -hmm. and all the trouble you know happened did you have trouble yes a lot of trouble yeah before yeah let's say in the maybe this is why you made the decision uh, to uh, to become a politician or uh, to run for this yes, uh, position of MP Yes, of course, it was uh, a push. It was a push uh, to give me strength. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they said that uh, a strike mm -hmm. didn't break you, give you strength. Yeah, sure. Yes, yes. and it gave me a lot of strength in order to, to, you know, to persist and persevere in order to reach my uh, goal. Yes, uh, please tell me about this uh, party of the uh, equity and development. How would you introduce the party to people who don't know? Okay, so anything about the party. Algerian can political Arabic, system? Uh, yes, you can say it in Arabic. So as in well. Arabic, it's Jabhat mm al-Adala -hmm. al-Tanmiya. The leader uh, is uh, a famous uh, personality, which is uh, Sheikh Saad Abdullah Jaballah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that guy. You, you said uh, Sheikh. I think is it from the right? No, Sheikh. It's uh, it's like a Sheikh. We call it in Algeria. We say Sheikh. Uh, even a teacher. For old men. Yeah, even a teacher. For oh, us. Okay. A teacher. People yeah. you respect. Yeah. Yes, we respect. We say Sheikh. It's not the, in, in the Tunisian context. <laughs> so it's an Algerian context. We mean by that Sheikh, a respectful guy, and he's really a respectful guy. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the, uh, we can we can have a look to his record. He's a guy who uh, who did a lot. Uh, to try to 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 build a uh, free Algeria and to build uh, uh, to build an Algeria toward a democracy and to, to you think our economy is based uh, is based on uh, we're a rich country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got an outcome. Uh, let's say around uh, 
100, 100 uh, million dollars a year. Really? Which is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but basically on those stuff, we haven't got an alternative. That's why the development have to be uh, in other fields, such as industry, such as, you know, agriculture, which is mainly. What is your priority as a young Algerian? So for me... Mm, is it education? Guy, is it scientific education. research? Is it the industry, the economy? Okay, the, the, the part you rely on uh, education mm -hmm. and young people, basically. And I'm the, the example, yeah, because sure. I'm young, yeah? And they sure. rely on those people and those uh, competence abroad. Mm -hmm. And they want to, to start a new Algeria. Uh, we want to take benefit on this spring, Arabic spring. We want it smoothly mm -hmm. and, you know, peacefully in Algeria. Because we did sacrifice a lot of uh, person those uh, recent years, you know. So in Algeria there is a, 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 a huge program mm -hmm. designed by a specialist who are dealing point by point with those stuff. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, my reform is here in Tunisia and mm -hmm. in Morocco, Egypt and all those Algerian uh, concentrated in Tunisia, the third area, because mm -hmm. I represent How many, how many people? Uh, let's say 200,000. Wow. In Tunisia around, uh, around 22 thousand mm -hmm. Algerian live in Tunisia, the huge community here. This huge community is uh, neglected by the government. By the central government? The central, I mean the central government. Yeah. So a uh, lot of them are born here and they are lost, you know, between uh, this... Two yeah, identities. Two identities. Born Algerian and raised and here and they, they, yeah. and they are not really uh, Algerian. Yeah, they are, they, are not, they are considered even Tunisian there. Mm -hmm. And all, most of them, they haven't uh, got even the document, the Tunisian gov document as, wow. you know, an ID. The ID. And here they are considered Algerians. I Algerians. And in Tunisia they are considered Algerians. This is a dilemma. And my question, well, the next question is about the political situation in Algeria. Do you really think that the elections will turn Algeria into, will change Algeria into a democracy. But we will have a short break with music and we will come back so you have four minutes. Okay? Okay. Our next track and we'll be back. Let's come back. Welcome back, you're listening to Tunis International Radio. And here in the studio we have Ahmed Abdelnouz an Algerian, young Algerian politician. So, uh, we were talking about the future of democracy in Algeria. Do you think Algeria will turn into a democracy in the coming uh, weeks, months, or maybe years? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit uh, sensitive question. Be careful. It's a, it's a, yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm kidding. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to... Uh, let's, say, um, let's say we got the guarantee right now. Mm -hmm. We got promises from the government. We got a guarantee. We got uh, in front of me this uh, delegation of uh, controllers who came from mm -hmm. judges, mm -hmm. observers, judges, ob observers, international observers, and all the stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, who guaranteed that uh, it will be fair. It will be fair and transparent. for everybody and transparent and all the stuff. But I don't really believe on such stuff. Because I believe in the will, if, if the, the will of the people, the will of the government. Ah, oh, the government, the deciders, mm -hmm. the policy makers, is, is decision a, makers, yes, the decision makers. If if there is a, a, a true a true will, mm -hmm. a true will, I don't think they they try to uh, jeopardize what was built in Algeria as institutions. Because people, I don't think they will give them enough time in order to to make this mistake again. Okay. It's one chance and we have, they have to, to seize the chance. We have to see we and have to, to see oh, everybody. I'm not talking about the people and the government. I, mm -hmm. I talk about uh, Algerians people, themselves. Algeria, the millions. Algeria in uh, all Algerians in America in uh, Loughborough University which I met, you know, PhD, you know, guys who are who are there who can't even, you know, come back to the country because of the obstacles of the administration and all the stuff. Mm -hmm. So those people want to come back and want to build their country and want to contribute in the decision. Mm -hmm. If they want to contribute, I advise the country, the, 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 the leaders and you know, yeah. the rulers personally, I advise them, do not uh, jeopardize the security mm -hmm. built or acquired recently in those couple of years. Mm -hmm. So don't jeopardize that and try to seize the, 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 the chance. opportunity and the chance. Seize the chance and you know, let, let the, yeah. the game, uh, you know, uh, don't decide for the people. Mm -hmm. Let the people decide for themselves. Ahmed, uh, too many foreign observers think and hope that the elections will be free and democratic. Democratic. What's your view on this issue? Do you think they will be free and democratic? That's what you Inshallah. hope. Inshallah. Why not? Inshallah. 
uh, we are observing. So personally, I've got some observers. I've got people around Tunisia who are observing if something happened or any mistake happened. Mm -hmm. uh, let me uh, just give the if, if yes, you don't please. mind, I can yes, give. The, so uh, here it is. Uh, here it is. Uh, the, one, this uh, nine, delegation six. two seven four one okay. in Tunisia. Mm -hmm. Seven one nine six two seven nine one. We will share it on our Facebook page. I okay. the English yes. language program, and I invite our listeners to join us and to click like and to share their feedback on our Facebook page. Uh, how do you uh, communicate with the Algerian community here in Tunis to talk about the plans and the projects and the programs of your political party? Okay, we are trying. Uh, we are trying to to hold those meetings mm -hmm. in different areas because they are spread all over the, the Tunis and. Uh, and also on the we use in the network, mm -hmm. uh, the Facebook, Facebook. all the stuff. And by the way, my Facebook is uh, Ahmed, just uh, click uh, Ahmed Abdelnouz and you find me there. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, people uh, uh, all Algerians, as I said, in the third uh, in the third district, which uh, you know, which mm -hmm. are in my territory, uh, a country of Gulf, country, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, Australia, all those Algerians who are there, Morocco, you think contacts, South uh, Libya. The having contacts is enough. Contact, uh, you, need, you need means. You okay. need funding to funding, go there funding, to talk to funding, people. Funding we have uh, we had to rely on ourselves. So before, uh, before this means you have nothing. <laughs> yes, that's uh, what I, I think. I'm trying by myself. I'm trying to do it. It's like an electoral election. Uh, electoral campaign. Yeah. yeah, doing just by me. People and abroad family, yeah. start to vote uh, on the fifth of May. Mm -hmm. Till 10th of May. Abroad, mm -hmm. this means in Tunisia, <laughs> not in Tunisia, the world. Yeah, because some people other, might think that Algeria. Tunisia is just <laughs> <laughs> part of Algeria. No, no, no. <laughs> <But> <laughs> they might get confused. To, to Ahmed, what if you were elected? Which priorities would you consider for the Algerian community in Tunisia? So uh, I will try to treat uh, the social problem. Social yeah, problem. Social problem. Could you sum up? Yes. There is Where is the problem, and how are you planning to? solve this problem or to treat at least to treat the problem the problem is to try to uh, to uh, try to collaborate with my party if my party will be elected obviously will be the government there mm -hmm. so those people here lack of education and all the staff especially in the rural area in tunisia so they children they can even i, I met some people who can you know, can afford even to buy a, a pair of shoes for his, uh, for his Algerian, daughter, living Algerian in tunisia. guy yeah it's yeah. sad yeah you could be shocked Mm -hmm. they, they are sharing the same uh, the same yeah, problem yeah, yeah. of Tunisians. Same problem. Same problem of Tunisians. Mm -hmm. But the, the the problem is uh, uh, the Algerian the Algerian government, as I mean as a, uh, as an institution as a, as a structure as a structure as a, as a consulate as an embassy as mm -hmm. those, uh, they had to to put in action services of people who visit those people. So knock to the door. Uh, a field work. You have to move and to find those people mm -hmm. and help in them. I want to. I want also to uh, try to to put in action some uh, civil work, yes, sir. like associations and all the stuff to mm -hmm. help people. You know, help people. Uh, try to try to, uh, uh, to try to get, give them uh, give them what they need in the point of view of you know of education and all the stuff. Helping them with the, with the little you have. That you yeah. Have. And collaborate also with the Tunisian government. Another, Is the Tunisian government helping the uh, Algerians who are running for the uh, position of MPs in uh, Algeria? Right now, they. It's, or it's not their they, job, maybe. It's so. not even their job. They don't really want to. Um, are they observing? They don't are really they facilitating the task? Obviously, you know, the leaders here in Tunisia they are interested, I guess, about the fate of Algeria, because Algeria, you know. I think even country. the people are interested in the fate, the fate of uh, Algeria. It's very important, you know. It's very important. At the end, we are just yeah. one region. Yes, I think it's very important for us. Mm -hmm. We are, we are, uh, we are uh, a continuation, you know. So, mm -hmm. uh, so things change in, uh, been changed in, uh, in, in Libya, Tunisia, in Algeria. Tunisia. All those countries are. Things uh, have to change in yeah, Algeria also, but peacefully. Maybe that's peacefully. what you think. Inshallah. Inshallah, it will be peaceful. Through the yes. elections, yes. to the election, inshallah, through through this uh, ballot, we will change things, and it will be, you know, uh, let's say the the best civilized mm -hmm. uh, revolution uh, ever happened before. <laughs> inshallah, as inshallah. You have just we hope so. We said, hope so. Uh, do you think the the problem of integration is is a serious one here in Tunisia? The integration of Algerians in Tunisia. So uh, with the the social integration, it's easy for them. 
because mm -hmm. there, there is uh, it's the same culture it's same culture is the same uh, habit mm -hmm. so they are uh, so the, once they spend a year they became became Algerian became all Algerian, mm -hmm. so Algerian became themselves. Algerian. We are, yeah we are the same mm -hmm. we are the same we share the same uh, culture we share the same religion so we have we had to compare with Europe, you know. Europe they 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 got a different religion, they got a different language, but there is no uh, different cultures as well. Different culture also, but there is no uh, boundaries. Mm -hmm. People can can travel at least without. So we need the passport in the to go to Algeria, and you need <laughs> you need a visa maybe to go to uh, Saudi. And do you think such, this will such change? Thing, they, it 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 has, it has to change. It, has, it to has to change, but it let's talk change. about the reality on the ground. The reality, it's go, uh, it's go slowly. Mm -hmm. it's but we try, to, we try to rush it up. As mm -hmm. people try to push <laughs> it, we try to push it. It's our duty. We are the future, anyway. We are the future. So we are here. I'm Algerian, you're Tunisian. We are just, you know, talking. Nothing happened. We show. I know. I feel that you really want the freedom of my country. Yeah, we I want the freedom and yeah. the best, the best, the best for, uh, for the, best uh, for the Algerian uh, the best and the best people. future for us. Same Why thing not? for me. I hope that the, the decision of uh, the Tunisian people also mm -hmm. will be respected, and and Tunisia will be uh, will be free and will be uh, you know. Ahmed Abdelnouz, what if you had to address the electorate in uh, Tunisia? How would you sum up your program? What is your I message to listening to you on FTC? Okay. So all Algerians who are listening to me, I uh, I want them to to vote first. Mm -hmm. This is the basic thing. Mm -hmm. Vote because it's the only way to change uh, vote not vote for me I'm elected vote but don't just go and vote mm -hmm. and select the best mm -hmm. maybe I'm not the best but try to select the best mm -hmm. how you will know the best just see this, the history of that guy and the record of the party if those people ruled the, girl, the, the country before mm -hmm. and got the chance to govern Algeria for 10 or 20 years so it's enough for them things have to change things have to change this is uh, this is the wise decision. I'm just directing them. I'm not uh, uh, appealing them to to vote for me or just select the best, select the future for Algeria. Mm -hmm. According to me, as a young person, I see this uh, the the program of my party, which is Jabhat al Tanmir, is the best for the future in Algeria, mm -hmm. and I want the electors to see. Ahmed Abdelnouz, uh, thank you very much. We really wish you the best and we are expecting Thank your you. feedback. And if your friends have missed this program, they can find the link on our Facebook page, FTC, the English Language Program. Uh, we wish you good luck. Uh, we are expecting your feedback, as I told you. I also would like to thank our friend Atif from the Association for Civic Action in uh, Libya. Um, we also would like to thank Karim K2K from the Bloggers Workshop, Yazid Hamdi Salma Saidi from Ansit School, and I promise that next time you will have one hour. I thank our maestro Jeanette Waharani for her valuable assistance. Uh, I invite you to join thousands of Tunisians throughout the country for the Tunisia Reads event and to join us on our Facebook page again. Uh, I'll share the links to all the events we've talked about uh, maybe this uh, evening. Next, a news update in French and the Italian language program with our friend Mohamed Mansley. Enjoy your weekend. Stay tuned to RTCI. Bye-bye.